salve, nomen mihi est aloisius, ego sum hispanus, et ego studio lingua latina, ic. Jaire, onoma moi estin sitsus, cae cat oico en de Bataviae, cae hode, autu, mantano den elenigen glosan. These students from the Pontifical University of the Holy Cross in Rome study not just Latin and ancient Greek, but also Hebrew. They attend classes during the summer to learn these three ancient languages. They have different backgrounds, but they all share one thing in common. I would like to learn uh, the Greek language. I would like to speak it uh, because I think it's easier uh, to read the ancient texts when you can read it, uh, when you can also speak it and can use the language as just a normal language. It's interesting to see how the language that the Romans used would have sounded, how they would have spoken. I like that idea. The only languages spoken in this classroom are Latin, Greek, or Hebrew. Any other language is strictly forbidden. For example, Lorenzo and Francesca are Italian, but they only speak in ancient Greek when addressing their professor. Some classic ancient texts have never been translated. This course hopes to show that classical languages are the best way to read and understand those texts. More than 50% of ancient sources haven't been translated into a modern language. The only way to read them is to speak the language and to be able to read fluently. More than 100 students take part in this program over the course of three weeks. They want to prove that so-called dead languages are still very much alive. Uh,